All right, so let's look at, we were looking at the uh, follow-up techniques and the first one is a fail. First technique, if we hit it ideally, it will work, but not always. And the odds are probably better than average. That first technique we do probably won't. Once again, I'm a big believer, we need to have thought about where to go. So we have a lot of stuff in our syllabus, and I don't care what syllabus you do. We know Jacosian syllabus, but it could be any syllabus. You should always be thinking, where can I go from this? Think about it and try it. There's a couple things I've thought about for this that we tried, and they seem good on paper, but they don't necessarily work. So you have to actually sort of comb through what you know and give some a try. So we're going to look at the outer hawk or also the Getty and a couple of ways to go there. Now we have options sort of built into our system that people counter a lot of these things simply by moving their foot or other things, right? Like we do, we do inner hawk, we know if the guy moves his foot, we can do an outer hawk. I'm talking about ones where you just didn't get the guy to go. Right? Like you, you can down the leg, it's done. It's like hitting a tree. And he just doesn't go. Crap, what do I do? Okay. So, first one's very basic. Anybody that's done some judo will have, will have seen this one. You know, if he punches, we come in. You know, either he blocks this or I miss the target, or he's just made it really stern stuff and this doesn't, doesn't work. It doesn't lock and pull, doesn't really bring his bell. So, I come in, I'm here, boom. He's got his weight against me because he knows what's coming. I've hit this, it's not happening. Okay. First technique, I want to keep my weight here. Because he's got my weight back, what I want to do is start pushing forward and hop. Until he comes down. That hopping motion kind of ratchets his balance. And now you get to realize you're in a little bit of a race because he's in an outer hop position as well. Right? We're hoping he doesn't know that. If he does know that, we're beat. If I'm back here and he does know that, he's just going to throw me. If we're in a little more of a stalemate, then I can make this work. So let's get the hop. Right here. One, two, I come in, boom, here. So let's hop, 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 hop. You know, whatever it takes to get him down, and hit. So if you do need to go, if he does have your balance, or right, you come in, he has this, step back, regain the balance. Now when you have this, you have a better, better position. Now you can start driving. Don't be so focused on what you're doing that uh, that simple motion of just letting that foot come back to change your angle, to change what you do. So, um, another possible option. So I want to say this is very basic. We should be able to do that at a yellow belt. So more of a green belt technique. So same thing here. One, two. We come in. Doesn't work. I have his arm right now, right? I'm here. <clears throat> All we can do now is as he's pushing, my hands have come around, I'm going to step. He's pushing so hard towards me that he's going to put himself right into a hip or a shoulder. Hip on sail knocking. One, two, three. Okay. Shoulder throw. Doesn't work. I bring my foot down here, he's pushing. I turn, pull with his arm. So I'm using his forward momentum <laughs> to help with the throw. Okay. Make sense? Especially if you guys that know the, know the shoulder throw. Once again, take your shoulders, shoulder arm lock. Maybe you want to apply a lock rather than a throw. These are ideas. There's lots of things. So I want you guys to think about what you know within your set of things. You do. So, same thing here. One. Two, this doesn't work. This time I want to do attack the arm. From here, I'm going to step back far. Right there. It's not exactly as for syllabus, but you notice when I step back, he's pushing. He goes, his arm like this. Okay. So one, two, up. This doesn't work. Right. So we're here. One. I already have his arm, he's given that to me. All right, so same as the block we do for the arm the shoulder lock. In green. It comes on fast. Yeah, it comes on really, really quick. So, a little more advanced throw. You see here? I mean, same problem. This doesn't work. Okay? Boom, we're here. Outer winding. Soto Makakomi. He's pushing, I step. Turn down. Once 
again, we changed direction. We tried to throw that way. Didn't work. Let's get through this way. Okay. So one, two, and this doesn't work. I'm going to bring my foot right down here. He's still pushing. So I turn. Because of that push, as soon as I put my foot down, I have this motion to turn and keep that forward motion going. Okay. Last one. Last one. Another throw. You know there's a lot of throws because we like countering throws with throws. So they're very effective. Once again, we have this next throw on a brown belt. It can either be a side wheel or a rear throw. Okay. Both very nice in here because of the same reaction that we have to the technique. Here, boom, I'm here, boom, doesn't work. So now we need to change hands, okay? So, so I'm here. This hand, from here, is gonna come up to his head. I'm actually gonna smack him in the back of the head if I was doing so fast. And then the other hand, right? So, this hand's gonna come here, this hand's gonna come down his belt. So I'm here, he's pushing. Whether you do a rear or side is just going to depend on where, how much he's pushing, and what throw you feel most comfortable with. Doesn't matter whether it's here, doesn't matter whether it's here. Okay. So here, one, two, three. Once again, I was trying to throw him originally that way. He counters, so I use his force. Some of those throws are advanced for you, some of you guys. Some of you guys have seen them. Some of them are in the new syllabus. Doesn't matter what your syllabus is, there should be something that you can tack together what to do when a technique doesn't work. 